Hey guys, we have so much scrap yarn and I started to crochet a blanket and uh, just to use up all the yarn which I do not work with and I started with this corner to corner C2C pattern and this is such a lovely pattern. It's very fast growing, it's compact and it's really a lot of fun. So uh, I would not recommend this pattern for shawls because it's really com compact and you just see it's, it's not flexible. And I'm working here with a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. I would recommend to use always a bigger hook for this pattern. If your yarn is for three millimeters, for example, you should use four millimeters minimum. So for this yarn, you can also use a five or six because this pattern is really compact. This pattern is also really cool for scarves or loops and also for scooties. So I will show you this also with a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and I will show you also to create a square or a rectangle. So this pattern is for advanced crochets. If you don't know how to crochet double crochets or chain stitches, just watch our basic tutorials on our website. You can find all the links in the description box. Okay, so we start with the usual slip knot. And for each little square, we will always start by chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Make sure your chain is really loose. Okay, then you count from the last stitch, one, two, three, and through the third stitch, you crochet a double crochet. Then a double crochet through the next stitch. And then the third double crochet through the last stitch. Okay, and this is one little square. Okay, for the next, start again by chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And you count from the last stitch. One, two, three. I'm turning this chain and you crochet a double crochet through the third stitch and the second and the third double crochet through the last stitch. Okay, now we have two little squares and we have to connect them and I'm going here under this chain space or under this chain and we slip stitch. Okay, so you connected your two squares. Now chain three and then crochet three double crochets under this chain, so through the chain space. The second and the third. And you created this part. So you see this pattern will grow like a triangle. And for the next one, you chain again six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then I turn it like this and then you count one, two, three, and your first double crochet through the third stitch, the second and the third double crochet. And then we connect it, we're going through the chain space and slip stitch. In between chain three and crochet three double crochets through the chain space. Okay, then connect, chain three, and three double crochets through the chain space. So, you see we started with one, then we had two, now we have three. Okay, so one more time, chain six,
and then count one, two, three. Double crochet through the third, the second, and the third double crochet. Then again, connect them by slip stitching and you're in between again. You chain three and crochet three double crochets. Connect them, chain three and three double crochets. Connect them. Chain three, three double crochets. So, and you continue doing this until your piece is big enough so you can decide which shape this should have, if this should be a triangle or a rectangle or a square. And you see mine is really big already, but it's not big enough. It will be much bigger. And if your is big enough, so what should you do to get a rectangle or a square? Okay, so if you say, this is big enough, so I want to have here a border. Then you just have to turn your work and you slip stitch. Here we slip stitch two stitches. Then you start by chaining three and crochet your double crochets through the, cha through the chain space. Then connect. So you have here your border. Okay, at this point you can decide if you want to have a rectangle or a square. If you continue crocheting upwards you will get a rectangle or maybe you want to have a scarf so you want to have this one much longer then you would continue by chaining here three and crochet your three double crochets okay like this and then you would again start by chaining six and you're crocheting your next square, you're connecting and so on. So this is how it works. So you would have here your border and you continue only to increase on this side. So you will stop here. But if you want to have a square, you will stop already at this point where you connected these two together. And then you will turn your work here and with we slip stitch three times, one, two, and three, and then at this side you chain three and crochet three double crochets. And on this side we have also a turning point and you slip stitch three times and then we have here the last corner one two three and crochet three double crochets connect that's your square. So this is how this pattern works. I hope this tutorial was helpful. 
watch also other videos. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified about new tutorials. And until next time, bye-bye.